Hello YouTube and welcome Diecast family. Today, today let's check out a bunch of Hot Wheels Premium. Today we're going to start out with the biggest one from the Team Transporters. It's going to be the Liberty Walk Silhouette GT Nissan 3 or 30 Nissan uh 35 GT RR version 2. Man, that was a long name. And the flip slider hauler. So, we'll take a look at the other ones in this release real quick. Looks like we got a golf one. It's going to be the D Tomazo Pantera. And then the Mad Mike Mazda, which I already got. So, I definitely need to pick up the golf one did not even realize that one was out and out of all the Hot Wheels truck haulers that they have released this has to be the heaviest one this thing weighs a good couple pounds it feels like Oh wow, it's the first one that I think is a two-piece. So now I like it even more. Let's check out the truck first. It says Liberty Walk Performance on the front, so one I'm definitely going to keep. And probably actually use in my Liberty Walk display. So the sides do open up. really freaking cool of course it rolls it's a hot wheels and boy does this sit low to the ground too we'll take a look at the trailer of course the sides flip up on it and it has a ramp in the back so lots of access to the car and then the car that thing is freaking awesome Definitely happy to add that to the Hot Wheels Nissan collection. Holy cow, the amount of detail they put on this thing. Really, really glad that I picked this up. Especially with the trailer being a two-piece. I did not realize it was a two-piece. It's really freaking awesome. I don't think they did a lorry yet. Amazing detail on these Hot Wheels Premium. And the next one we're going to check out is going to be from the Hot Wheels Boulevard. This is going to be the 93 Ford Escort RS Cosworth. The other cars in the release. Wouldn't mind picking up the panel van. I think I have the Impala. If I don't, I need it. The Honda Civic. Definitely need to get that one. And the Mazda here. I'm going to need to pick up that one. And I absolutely have the Chevy Impala. Because it's sitting right here on my lap. We'll be cracking that one open next. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure and hit that subscribe button. I will be doing a big giveaway in one of my upcoming videos. When I crack open probably around a hundred loose Hot Wheels. So if you're not subscribed, make sure and hit that subscribe button. And 74 Boulevard, Boulevard cars released already. I think they just started came out with the boulevard maybe three years ago so they're what five car releases so that's quite a few releases if they're up to 75 or did they pick up 
from the original like 50 that were originally released or something. I don't know. It seems kind of high. It's 10, that'd be like, what, 15 releases already? Wow. I know they have not had 15 releases, so maybe the original ones were numbered and they picked up with the original ones. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you have any idea about that. Just kind of confused now. I don't think they have released 75 Boulevard cars since they come back out, but I could be wrong. Maybe they have. Awesome, awesome Impala. One of my favorite cars from my youth. It's funny, this car sold new for, I don't think, much over 20000 And then they never really went down from 20000 in the value of them. One in good shape with low miles. And then they're probably twenty or 30000 now. So, vehicle, if you would have bought it and kept it in good shape and not drove it very much, it would have just really maintained its value good. And uh, throughout the all the years, like, never had uh, ups and downs or nothing. I don't think many vehicles can say that. And I think almost all these SSs came out in black. I'm not sure if there was any factory color of the SS besides black. I could be wrong. Let me know down in the comments. But definitely a freaking awesome car. The next one is going to be from Forja. The Hot Wheels Forja 5. And it's going to be a 78 Ford Escort RS. 1800 MK2. Look at the other cars in the set, and it doesn't show them. So not sure what other cars came out in this set, which ones I'll need to pick up. really like all these old Ford rally cars they have been releasing lately. I mean, Hot Wheels just been killing it with all these old Ford rally cars. Definitely will have to do a Jammer Time video on them one time, but I think I might be yeah, I think I might be on my second Jammer now. There's been that many of them. Next one's going to be a Pagani Zonda R. This is going to be from the Speed Machines. Number three out of five. Other cars in the set. It's a set I definitely wouldn't mind picking them all up in. But we got the Porsche 911, the McLaren 720, Ford GT, the Pagani that we got right here, and then a Lamborghini. So, definitely need to pick up the other four cars out of this set. Four GTs, a car that I do try to complete from Hot Wheels, so. Even in the store, I think these cars are like $6.50 a piece now. Still hard for me to pay that much for a premium Hot Wheels. Especially since I have to go to the second-hand market for most of them. And uh, they're usually $10, $15 bucks a piece on the second-hand market. The next one, I only have one out of the set, but definitely a good one to have. It's going to be this 1972 Mercedes-Benz 280 SEL 4.5. And this is going to be from the Autos, I don't know, Autostrasse? Autostrasse? 
This is going to be number one out of five. The other cars in the set. We got the Mercedes up here. Looks like you got the Lamborghini Urez, which might be cool in that color. Got the Alpine, which is a casting I've thought about going after. Got the 73 Volvo. That'd be pretty cool to have. And the BMW, which I'll definitely need to pick that one up. Freaking Zonda R looks pretty badass, though. And this is just killing it in this green paint. Man, that green paint looks good. The green rims that go with it. Then the next one's going to be from Exotic Envy. This one has pretty cool card art, so I'll show the whole card here. It's really good on the card. Exotic Envy, number five out of five. We have the Lamborghini in this beautiful green color. And then the other ones in the set are going to be a really cool Alfa Romeo. The McLaren's speeds tell the bugatti which I might have that one the kona sag and then we got the lamborghini might be one of my favorite Lamborghinis that Hot Wheels has released ever and they have some pretty good Lamborghini releases next one's gonna be from race day I definitely need to pick up this whole set the first race day set was one of my favorite race day sets. And this time we got the 94 AMG Mercedes C-Class DTM touring car. And the first race day sets were still on the small cards that were about the same size as a mainline release. But they were still the same car culture, the same premium. So we got the Porsche 935, the Austin Martin. The Ford, which we do have. I do have that Ford already. The AMG, almost looks like the camel paint scheme. And the Audi R8. So, definitely would like to pick up the other three that I do not have in that set. Don't know how many premium sets Hot Wheels releases every year. If you know, comment down below. But it seems like it's quite a few. And for some reason, I thought the 0 out of 5, the chase variations, I thought they had them listed on the back. But I haven't seen any chase variations on the back of uh, any of these cards so far. But definitely looks good in the orange. Or the yellow, I mean, with all the racing graphics. Then the next one's going to be an older uh, release, a uh, modern classics, or something they've done for quite a while. Uh, the first release of Modern Classics, it was on the smaller cards that were like the size of mainline cards. And it was a really good release, one of my favorites. And uh, here we have the Honda Civic and the Spoon Racing. It's the number one out of five. You know, it's probably the most desired one in the set. 
I do have this Fiat. Looked really freaking awesome. Definitely need to pick up the Toyota Altezza. And then we got the Volkswagen. And then we got the 91 Mazda. So I, I might have that one too. I'll have to check on that. Let me know down in the comments if you have difficulties trying to keep up with Hot Wheels and if it's because they're so hard to find or just because they release so damn many of them. If you got certain castings you try and just keep up with and let me know down in the comments. I'd like to know how my viewers feel about all that. Then the next set is a set I really like, and I actually got three of them from this set, including another Ford Rally car. So this is a Hot Wheels premium set. It does not say on it what it's called, but right here we got the Mercedes-Benz 500E in silver. And you can see the other cars released in this set, going to have a BMW, I definitely need to, oh, I have it right here in my lap, and then we got the Ford Sierra in my lap, the Volvo, that's pretty damn cool, definitely need that, the Porsche 944, and then this is a Mercedes. So, either none of these sets had a chase, or they're not pictured on the back, I'm not sure, let me know down in the comments if you know, but feel like if there was a chase in any of these sets that it'd be pictured on the back. Yeah, I think I opened them up completely backwards i have no idea what number that one was the 87 ford sierra cosworth here is number two out of five And then the BMW is one out of five. The 2001 BMW M5, which I would love an older M3. Completely gutted out, put a roll cage in it, have a little drift car. Definitely love all these new Fords are releasing. I mean, right here is three of them. Just really awesome, cool little castings. If you look these up too, uh, Ford released a bunch of rally cars back in the 90s and stuff too. Or Hot Wheels did. So the Ford rally cars is nothing new to Hot Wheels. And when I show my collection or I, my jammer time sometime, uh, you'll get to see uh, all the different older Hot Wheels that they had. I don't have them all, but I do have quite a few of them that I've picked up over the years. Because I've always been a big fan of the Ford rally cars. Always thought it was cool how in the 70s and 80s, Ford made all these rally cars and they released them overseas. Uh, you didn't really see these in the U.S. You couldn't really find these models in the U.S. I think some of these models were never even sold in the U.S. But they were still made by Ford. Not that Ford's my favorite car brand or anything. My favorite car brand is Chevy. I'm always going to be a Chevy guy and a Chevy Silverado guy, but I do appreciate these Fords. This BMW looks freaking awesome in red. Really like the all-factory look on this and the Mercedes and the Rolls. Besides that, everything else is pretty much a race car theme. The Impala is very factory.
not all of these cars and all the rally cars. And as much as I like these rally cars, I think my favorite one of the day is going to be the R35. That thing just looks freaking mean. Absolutely love it. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite car today. I don't know. That Lamborghini, it could be my favorite. It's going to be a toss-up. Even the Impala SS. Can I have three favorites today? Well, I'm going to do it. I'm, I got six favorites today. I got the three Fords up here. And then the Impala R35 Lamborghini. And not in that order, but... Freaking Hot Wheels, just freaking killing it with these premiums. As always, make sure to leave comments, hit the like button, and have an awesome day.